Jason and Jamari. What's up guys? This is Jason from the Jason and Javari Gaming and today we have our final 39 Reunion Crystals. Uh, that's right, 39. Uh, so Kabam sent out a code and gave us a few extra. Other than that I think it... No, and actually they gave me like some sort of a compensation. I forgot the reasoning why. So that gave me an additional nine of these reunion crystals. So originally I would have only had 30 more to show you guys. But um, here we are opening them up. Uh, I think I rapid pop these. So as you see, we're getting a lot of seven star shards um, as per usual. I think we got a, like one six star shards in there, which we don't really like. Um, uh, still looking for the T4A. That's my number one prize out of these. I know that the selector would be cool and all, but for me personally, it was the T4 Alpha. Uh, I value that resource the most. Um, we get some tier four, uh, so that's not too bad. Um, and real quick, guys, we are dangerously close to 2K subs. Thanks to you guys, we certainly appreciate Appreciate, I should say each and every one of you guys speaking of there we go there's some t4 alpha boom that's like the sixth time we hit it um, so if you guys would like and subscribe if you already haven't and share around with people who you think are interested in these videos we greatly appreciate you thank you um, so yeah we hit it again guys and I told you I'd share my overall thoughts with you on this final video and for me for the extra hundred dollars was it worth it for me personally, the answer is yes, it was definitely worth it. Um, I formed almost, I think, two um, T4 Alpha catalysts. Uh, I got a lot of six stars. I think I opened about three or four, uh, seven stars, excuse me, six stars, yeah. Uh, three or four seven stars. Um, and it helped me level up some people to rank two and one to rank three, right? So. Uh, to me, it was definitely worth it, but to some people, it wasn't worth it, and that's just the nature of RNG. Um, if they came out with an event like this again, I think we probably need to know what we're getting into prior to us just handing you guys our money. Um, I think that's the biggest gripe, so that way we can make more educated decisions, because I mean... To be honest, there was a little bit of hype around the crystals, which is fine. But some people got sorely disappointed with all that hype, right? Because they did not get what they expected. And that's just the reality of it. So that way, at least we could be transparent with what we potentially can get and not get. I think it would make it a lot more fair. And I think it won't set as many people up for disappointment because granted you are gambling anyway trying to uh, get what you're trying to get as your top price so yeah that would be a suggestion just moving forward maybe we just hey this is a crystal these are the items that you can get um and here's the percentages you know and then people i think wouldn't have as much to complain about but you know people are going to be people regardless so here we have some uh, Valiant Crystals. As you guys know, I've pulled two seven stars from these Valiant Crystals. All the more reason why I did say it was worth it for me because it just, things were unreal for me, man. Like, they they were really good to me. I'm Granted, I didn't like the six stars. I didn't think that they had a place in this crystal. I still do not. But ultimately, I really can't complain with everything that I was getting uh it was well worth the, it was well worth the value of the money so uh we're not getting anything great <laughs> we're not getting any more seven stars it doesn't look like yet i think we have a couple more valiant crystals uh coming up so we'll see uh but yeah um the last one there is a five star tear baby so no big deal all five stars 
that does happen from time to time um so we're moving on uh here we have four more right here um i think i spit them out which uh is fine again only looking for the t4a as the big prize here um and uh slowing down i just spit them out i know they don't have a real but some of them i just felt like spinning out so yeah we definitely have more value in crystals guys so we'll see if we can get any more seven star uh hero uh, champions but uh the likelihood with everything that i've already pulled is pretty slim but hey there's four right there there's four more so boy, there is a chance as they say um and uh let me know what you guys got <coughs> oh, excuse me um yeah allergies are acting up as per usual right uh let me know what you guys got what was your best pool things like that right like if you got something unexpected i definitely want to hear about it let me know in the comments below uh what was your most unexpected pool right um, so at least this time we got some six stars, so we're moving up. Maybe we'll get some seven stars because we definitely have more value or reunion crystals coming up. So here we have eight more. Um, I don't remember if I pop these or if I spent them. I'm not entirely sure. So it looks like I'm spending this one. Okay. And again, that's just uh, building up anticipation and stuff. Uh, I know they don't have a reel, but sometimes I just like to do that. Um, that's primary reason. We got some units. I've been getting some units here and there. Uh, that was fine because they were additions. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I honestly cannot wait for the uh, Cyber Weekend deals because I'm ready to get a lot of uh, rank threes. And I have all of the units that I need to get all the deals twice <laughs> so that's really good and i'm ready for it so another 50 units there which is great and of course seven star shards um i'll be having a opening where i'll have a lot of those seven star uh that i opened in them um probably not in the next video i'm working on a video right now uh for my rank three that i've recently done but uh, you guys will see that uh soon so yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, another thing is I got a lot of the selectors too. And I definitely formed a few, which uh, is great because I could target who I want and uh, get that champion up quicker. So yeah, that was really good in my opinion. And what are we gonna get for this final one here? Uh, six star hero crystal shards which is terrible but that's fine uh we have another four coming up uh and again i cannot say how good that the um incursion stuff was that was so clutch in my opinion because i hate spending my units on the uh, incursion stuff and i have so much stuff in the overflow for that which they do have saga incursions coming back so uh, I think it's coming up in the next uh, the next cycle. So even if you have them in your overflow, they last for like 20 something days. Uh, so I think they'll make it. So definitely want to hold on to that because those saga incursions are great. I think they give you seven star um, uh, signature stones. Uh, they definitely give you a fully formed T4A um so yeah a lot of seven star shards i think they even give titan shards so yeah man i definitely think it's worth the run um so if that's something that you're interested in i would say hold on to your resources until that pops up um and then try to try to get that in if you're able okay the next would feel like super stuffed up at the moment all right, I definitely thought that T3A was tier 4A. I always get caught up on that, man. I, I just, it doesn't process fast enough. I'm like, oh, did we do it? No, we didn't do it. 
but we've done it plenty of times as you guys have seen um which i am very happy about all right uh more six star shards which is not good but that is what it is i think we have a few more so i think the next one uh coming up is uh like where they gave it to me um i think it was just like a hey compensation here you go or something like that uh if it's not this one it's in the upcoming we'll clip or something like that but anyway i popped those valiant crystals we didn't get anything great yet um but we have six more here so these are just acquired through seven hours of waiting for each one um okay well let's see what we have in the first one here uh more seven star shards and like i said guys i got by far seven star shards the most so if that's like something that you got and you're excited about it let me know if you got primarily six star shards let me know and boom there it is again guys t4a i told you man i they were so good to me they were very generous uh with their t4a i definitely formed about two t4a's out of this so i'm very very thankful for that that was awesome i know a lot of people didn't and i'm sorry for their luck uh, but I absolutely did. So that is another reason why I said that they were absolutely worth it. I do hope they bring these crystals back uh, like permanently, right? Um, I think we can replace the ones that we have in the Kabam store with these that come out like every, uh, what is it, week or so. I think that would be pretty cool if they did something like that, right? Um, because these are these crystals are really good. In my opinion, they're really good um so but anyway we're about to uh do we pop these yeah we pop these and we only get five stars again so so far we have not seen another seven star from the valiant crystals which is fine because we already got two um so that's how dangerously close i am to my next rank three thanks to these crystals as you can see um all i need is to pull uh the tier for a one more time that'll form my third catalyst and then i could rank three now these six are from they're giving me compensation for whatever reason they just it was in my mail so if you guys remember the reason why then that's why but yeah so i got six of them so i was like oh that's a pleasant surprise so i just popped them all um as you see more seven star arts and uh a selector more seven star shards and we got some valiant crystals um and we're getting all of our incursion stuff ready for a huge run with forgotten um probably gonna do the saga one with with the resources we've been having uh scheduling conflicts sadly uh but it's okay because the saga ones are definitely worth it the most we got two five-star rocket raccoons what are the odds um rocket raccoon is, is not my type of champion but he's not a bad champion all right so final three here we go um i think i just spin them out uh but once again guys if you love this type of content if you like this type of content uh help us out with hitting the like and subscribe and sharing around also leave a comment all the engagement helps push us through the algorithm and we certainly appreciate each and every last one of you guys for it we're dangerously close to 2k subs and it's all thanks to you guys so yeah huge shout out to each and every one of you for watching our videos for showing up for being there all of that stuff matters um and it means the world to us so thank you without you there is no us um so we get some value crystals here yep that's uh that's fine uh, what are the odds that we're going to get a seven star very very slim as you can see we popped a lot uh but yeah so we're going to pop these and that's going to do it um stay tuned for that rank three video coming real real soon we'll catch you in the next one peace